Good morning, guys. It's Lisa with Lisa Heal Yourself coming at you with a blog today, or a vlog, I should say. So I'm just getting ready right now uh, to go down to um, the Freedom Rally here in my little town. The trekkers in Canada are now starting today. They are slow rolling across Canada from the north, from the east, from the west, from the south, all in a big convoy for freedom and ending up in Ottawa next Saturday. Number one, it is peaceful. It's been respectful. It's following rules. They're slow rolling. They're not stopping traffic. They're slowing down traffic all the way to Ottawa. And the truckers are holding the line. What do they want? No more mandates. Let each person decide. It is about mandates. No more mandates. You cannot force somebody to put something in their body that they don't want to. This is for me. This is for you. This is for teachers. This is for doctors. This is for uh, everybody. Okay. They are working for us. Our truckers are holding the line. I'm so proud of them. And if you can get out anywhere in Canada and support the truckers, if you can wave to them on bridges and highways as they're going by, if you have a car, you can join the convoy. You can go um, fund them on GoFundMe. You can also go to Bear Hug Canada Unity um, online. You'll find their website. You can see what's happening. You can see the routes. And they're, they're, they're doing this for all of us. Now, I am nervous to go down there because a lot of people from uh, little towns are going to bigger cities to do the freedom rallies because there's really no anonymity when you're in a small town. And there's not many people, unfortunately, who are on my side with this one. So, uh, you know, it's always one of those things where people are going to look at you. People are going to point you out. People are going to talk behind your back. They're going to whisper. They're going to criticize you, judge you, shun you, this type of thing. But it really doesn't matter to me because what matters to me is standing up for what's right, standing up for freedom, standing up for true informed consent, um, medical freedom and medical informed consent. It's important that we all have that option, not only for me, but for my family and for generations to come. So I'm just getting ready. Unfortunately, nobody in my family is coming with me. My husband will not be joining me, but um, I'm gonna be going down solo. I won't know anyone there. Uh, I don't actually know anybody in my town really who's on this side. Um, so it'll be interesting to show up with my sign, not knowing anybody what, but uh, anyway, I'm getting ready. Okay, so all ready to go. Um, I made my sign, I'm gonna go get it, get ready. It's snowing like crazy outside, so it's gonna be cold. So in my car, ready to go. If I'm being honest, I'm a little sad. I'm a little sad walking out the door, you know, with my family who isn't joining me. I just feel alone. Isolation and shame has been a part of my life for a long time. You know, when I was abandoned due to what happened to me, due to the injuries I sustained from the pharmaceutical industry, and people didn't understand. And so there was a lot of abandonment, a lot of whispers, a lot of judgment, a lot of criticism. So I'm no stranger to this feeling of just shame and isolation and like I'm alone. But even though they're not coming with me, I still do this for my family because I cannot ever stand by after what's happened to me and let that happen to myself again, nor my family, nor any of them, and especially my children and their children and the generations to come. It's important that we stick up against allowing the government to tell us what we can put in our body, what we must put in our body. That's a personal choice. There's a line, you know, we're all concerned about COVID. Nobody wants to get COVID, but there's got to be a line, line drawn in the sand. You know, you have to be able to uphold informed consent. You have to be uphold personal choice. You have to uphold freedoms and personal liberties. You have to not censor truth, right? Censorship, truth, this, this overstep, it's, it's not okay. And that's why I go. I'm all by myself with my trusty sign. I'm not going to know anyone down there, but here we go. Let's talk about embarrassment and shame for a minute. I mean, people don't like to come out. We like to look, 
we like to look to the left and to the right of us and be in the bigger crowd, be in the herd. We like to be accepted. We, nobody wants to be judged. Everybody, you know, at heart, we've grown up being people pleasers and trying to be do-gooders. And, and I have to say, I want to talk about the truckers for a minute here. I want to talk about what Canada's doing. Starting tomorrow, they're organizing a slow roll across all of Canada from the east to the west, to the north, to the south, all coming towards Ottawa um, over a period of six days and six to seven days and it's going to um, come to Parliament and uh, that's where the protest is going to be next Saturday so a week from today it's a peaceful rally we want peace Canadians are peaceful by nature we want to make a big impact because these big trucks are kind of our last hope in you know getting rid of all these mandates so it's time to hold the line it's time to support our truckers um, you can go to unitycanada.com for more information the hashtag is bear hug bear hug canada is hopefully going to be the one that ends mandates in canada so please support canadians please share this please go to that website please help us um, please get the news out we we need a lot of support there's this country of ours is, is usually strong and free and we need to get that back. So thank you to the truckers. All right, I'm just coming downtown. I really have no idea what to expect, whether there's gonna be like five, 10 people, whether there's gonna be a hundred people. Um, it's just, like I said, it's a snowy day. I don't know anyone, it's a very small town. So we'll see what ends up happening. Just heading in, wish me luck. Oh my gosh, I'm just heading in and there's like two horses. This is so Canadian. There's two horse people on horses and a goat. There's a goat, <laughs> you guys, there's a goat. I can't wait to show you this. Just a little group of people standing there. You can see a horse. Um, you can see the goat, I think, beside it. <laughs> there we go. As we're coming in, a dog, a goat, a horse, a couple of horses, so I'm going out to join. The small but decent side crowd, maybe 20 or 30 people. Oh my gosh, it's too funny. So take a look at the horses, everybody, and the goat. So that is Canadian for sure. So I'm down here, I don't know anyone. There are people, there is a freedom goat. great walk up and down the main street all the way to um, a school back down the road and it was pretty big turnout for a little town on the way we got a bunch of honks and lots of support um, we got a bunch of eye rolls too but there was lots of support so that was actually good to see and unexpected actually so that's good news so I know this is just a little rural town and but you know, it makes a difference everywhere. It makes a difference for ourselves, for our families, to make sure that we don't lose these essential freedoms where we have the right, we alone have the right to choose what we put in our bodies. So my way home, I think my husband and my kids might have even driven past and given me a honk. So that would be really great if they did. So I'm excited. All in all, I'll be happy to have gotten a honk and a drive-by from my family. And I didn't feel so alone when I was out there. I actually felt united. I felt unified. I felt like I belonged. And it was it was a really good feeling being a part of it. So even if you have a small town or you can get out to one of these things and show your support for free choice and freedom and consent and truth the little bit that we can all do it does help it does help and it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be it wasn't as intimidating everyone was nice I met a bunch of people out there I had someone to talk to the whole way and so it really wasn't as intimidating as I thought it might be you know feeling so isolated or alone or judged it actually felt good it felt good to be part of something that was for an important reason so if you're considering um, going to one of these things, I'd urge you to do it. So guys, go support the truckers, support the truckers, stand up for the truckers, do what you can because they are with us. They are going to hold the line. 
get to Ottawa if you can and help us get these mandates dropped. We need to get Canada back. So stand with the truckers and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.